and everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Dallas Cowboys. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. And, Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game. And when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. Kickoff is about to commence. Let's send it down to the field. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Spins away from contact. Kickoff return, 22 yards. Here is the former overall number one pick of the draft by way of Utah. Quarterback Alex Smith. And Edwards is lined up now as a slot receiver. And they'll run the football with Charles. Number 97, no Jamal game. Charles out of Port Arthur, Texas, and a Longhorn collegiately. Man, can he fly. He sure can. I'll guarantee you this. Andy Reid's excited to have him on the offensive side with him. He's going to make the job a lot easier for Alex Smith. And Edwards is lined up in the slot. Second down and 10. That pass well defended. Anthony Spencer is a presence on that Cowboys defense. In 2012, he was the most valuable player in the Cowboys defense without question. He was spectacular. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third down and 10. Looking at every option, and he's going to be sacked, and that's a quick series for this offense. Just three plays before it looks like they'll have to punt it away. What a good job by the defense. You get in there, and you get pressure, and you sack the quarterback here early in the game. That'll give you some hope and some enthusiasm. The punter getting set to boot it away after that sack on third down. Bring him to the turf. And here comes number nine, Tony Romo, taking the field for the first time. Well, I'm kind of sick of hearing about, oh, well, how will Tony Romo do in the playoffs? You know, let's don't worry about the playoffs. What he's doing now is a lot of good stuff. This guy can throw with anybody in the NFL. Des Bryant is a player with game-breaking ability. How about the way he finished off the year last year? He was dominant. Uh, outside every time he caught the ball he was making a big play to make tremendous catches and I know Tony Romo has a lot of faith in Dez Bryant here's a look at the defensive starters and a good look at the secondary a group that could be the difference in this game today lined up now on third down they were very good at converting these situations a week ago throws out the arm that tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Goes to the left. Nice tackle. Well, he gets tackled inside the five-yard line. That's the great thing. The bad thing is hard to score once you get inside the five-yard line in the NFL. Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They all just pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. And he's in for the touchdown. The Cowboys for the point after. Inside of the uprights. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And the return ends after a run back of about 22. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Now first and 10. Jamal Charles. That'll stop the play right there. 
Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Give that tackle to Sean Lee. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short gain. On the way, third down. Jamal Charles carries the football. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The point after is good. It's been an exciting game, and we're tied again. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Right past one player, and he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Witten set now, split out wide to the left. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tackle down right around the 47. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. Back to the air here on first down. That reception picks up the first down. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. First and 10. He has the grab. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it easy completion down the field. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. They went to the booth to review the touchdown, and it was not verified. Zebra. Coming up, second down. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close. So he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Romo's back at it now, dropping back once again. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers make those receivers worry about coming over the middle they'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit if i'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring i'll tell you what i'm doing i am sending everybody i am going to gamble that it is a run if they have the courage to throw it let it if they do of course force it across for the touchdown well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. And then third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out there and they get the touchdown running the football. Cowboys will be kicking off. He's got a chance to return this one. Going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Jamal Charles is in the backfield, tight end in motion. First down and ten. He's looking to the right. Man, intercepted.
intercepted. And here he goes. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. First and 10. Reaches out and grabs it. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Cowboys with a huge gainer right before the break and now coming back to the line to start the second. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Running away from the pressure. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Cowboys, ball hawking defense. Certainly set up that score. The interception, the good field position, and then the touchdown. Races out with it, and he's brought down after a return of about 26. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. Now first and ten. Charles is going to take the handoff now. And not until they pick up good yardage is he brought down. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. And Edwards is in the slot. First and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. And that gains one. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Kelsey's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Second down and nine. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback, when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's down. Third and ten. He's going deep. Interception. Going to be a penalty here. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet, in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. First down and 10. And that's a gain of 10. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. Bryant's a receiver in the slot. The quarterback throws the pass. The tackle is made by Johnson. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Dallas in the end zone. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Chiefs now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 28 to 7. He'll have a chance to take off. Not able to kick it into the second gear as he's taken down after a return of about 20.
and Edwards is going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. They'll give it to the back. Out of the eye. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Second and nine. Waits for an opening to unfold. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Third down and two. You'll get it in the weak eye. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. A running back must always know the situation. Third and short, don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. They'll run it with him again. That brings the play to an end. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Let's go. Nickel formation Let's go. for the defense here. Second and six. Got a little crease. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Now the offense in their hurry up. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Sticks to his hands. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. And Edwards is lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and one. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gains 16. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. The flag is out as the play continues. That's a gain of six. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Trying to work that left side. Count it. Touchdown. That's a nice touchdown there, and you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. And the point after is good. The Cowboys return team is getting set. They may opt to not do anything too crazy here before the half after just giving up a score and seeing their lead shrink. The scores 28 to 14. Witten split out wide on the left. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. No one in sight has the grab. The Cowboys signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. First down here after the completion. Secures it with two hands. That time, the pass is completed in the double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Second and ten. Has it. Touchdown.
Well, when the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead, it's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? The Chiefs have made things difficult for themselves in the second half. And now the return team is ready to see if they can perhaps get anything ignited before the intermission. The scores, 35 to 14. And Edwards is lined up in the slot. Now first and 10. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second and 10. Reaches out and snatches it. The Chiefs are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Kelsey's move from the tight end position to the slot. Third down and seven. Working that left side. And that's going to be a three and out. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Challenging the defenders to the right side off the mark. So that's going to do it for the first half. Cowboys are up in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Cowboys now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Offense lines up here. First and ten. They feed the running back. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Makes the catch in the open field. And the tackle is made at the 41. Gain of 21. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time, they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver. So it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. And a touchback. They come to the line, and it's first down. And they'll run the football with Charles. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Touchdown, and they cut into that lead. So you talk about fast running backs, you don't have to give them a lot. Block them a little bit with his speed. He sees that opening, and he can make it happen. Takes it all the way for the touchdown run. The Cowboys will get it back in a moment. Still have a two-possession lead. Scores 35 to 21. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Cowboys are getting set for their next possession. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Number 25. 
the ball carrier. Well, that was a nice Daniel run that time Sanders. off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. Bryant's in the slot. First down and 10. Dez Bryant with the catch. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle and you give up a long game. you got your players in position, that's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. Eric Berry makes the tackle. Good job by the offense, another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Trying to trick them here with the Wildcat formation. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. From inside the red zone. It's a two tight end formation. Second and five. Eyeing that left side. Brings it in. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Bryant's a receiver in the slot. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Touchdown. What a catch. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The point after try is in the books. Cowboys will be kicking off. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down here. As they go ground here, a tackle behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Second and 11. Going across the middle. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. And Edwards is going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. Heading right. In on the stop. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it. But what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. Now first and ten. Throwing now to his left. Makes the catch and picks up the first down. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Henderson's lined up now as a slot receiver. They'll go ground. They've got him behind a line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Trying to work. That ball is picked off. He stacked up at that point. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. The Cowboys get a first down. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back from Kansas City for the start of the fourth after the break. The Cowboys have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Offense lines up here. The final quarter begins with this snap. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. 
You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. He's in the clear. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. This is turning into quite a drive, Bill. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. That's a gain of seven. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. Two tight ends on the field here. It's a second and four. He'll fire it out to the left. The tackle was made. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And pick up about four. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. Cowboys will be kicking off. The ball is out. Kicking up the fumble, and now he's on the move. Well, one of the reasons why you put your fast guys on the kicking team, because you want them to run down there and hit the returners hard. That was a great hit, causes a fumble, and they recover. The Chiefs now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. And Edwards is lined up in the slot, first and 10. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. And Edwards is in the slot. Second down and eight. The quarterback throws to the right. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. And Edwards is a receiver in the slot. Third and eight. With two hands, he has it. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Ribs from the 29. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. There's nothing like a good punt returner. Just give him a little hope. Just make somewhat of a decent block. He'll do the rest. That's what we saw that time. The jumbo set on the field. First down and 10. Running back gets it on the handoff. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. He's got the grab and he's got the first. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Robo's dropping back to throw once again. Stands in the pocket, under fire on that throw. Second down now. Second and goal from the four. Action fake. He's scrambling now. And he's thrown to the ground. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that pulls the defense. 
two minutes to go before this one's in the books. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Right where it had to be. Oh, my gosh. He should have scored that time. Gets tackled inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if the offense is good enough to push it in. Now or never. For the margin is increased with another touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this. They have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it, and they get it. The Cowboys getting in position for the kickoff. Their offense didn't have to travel too far to put a touchdown on the board on that last series. Some great special teams work by the punt return team. Put them in a fantastic position, and from there, it was just a routine drive the rest of the way. The Chiefs are set now for their next possession. And Edwards is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. And Edwards is lined up now as a slot receiver. Looking to the right side and throwing. Slips right to his fingertips. Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. He's trying to run with it before the football gets there. You have to look it in. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. They're setting up screen. Inhales the pass. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Seven-yard gain on the play. Kelsey's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. The defense gets a sack. Stickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. The throw to the left. That ball is going the other way. Tackles made. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Double tight end formation. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Offense lines up here. Second down and ten. And it's Derek Johnson who makes the play. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up on his way? Steps out of bounds. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. Handoff, out of the eye formation. From the red zone. Second down following the run. Three-step drop. And almost picked off. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Play number six coming up on this drive. Takes it from the eye. Games 16. And there it is. 60 minutes has run off at long last, and this game is finally over. A blowout from the start.